Hey Nocturnals, I thought we'd play a little game of what's in the box. Oh, uh, what's in the box? Not to, give me the what's gun. in the box? So, um, let me explain this, what I mean by what's in the box. It's not quite as disturbing as the Seven movie. Anyway, I figured we'd open one of these boxes and have a look at some of the artwork in it. Um, I'm looking for, for my Art Nouveau lesson plan, I'm looking for examples of whiplash, of organic curves. So that's what we're going to be looking for in these boxes right now. All right, so here we are. We're just about to go through this first box. Um, we're going to be able to do this again with these other boxes behind me here. These are puppet boxes, but uh, for now, let's just go through the art box. Again, I'm looking for stuff that, uh, that I can maybe incorporate into my lesson plans for Art Nouveau. I'm looking for works that show me exploring natural organic shapes and um, the whiplash curve um, which I'll explain in the lesson plan. So let's have a look. Let's start with this box. This is the box. So is this life drawing. I'll add that at the start of the pile here. Pastel. That drawing, what's that drawing from? I think that's from um, a. It's a concept sketch. Put this on this other pile. It's a bit small. It's got a third pile. See why you end up with like piles of paper everywhere. Uh, self portrait from a long time ago. Um, um, Needleton, it's a song. It should not really be in here in this box at all. Concept sketches. Oh. It's an Earth Icarus concept sketch that actually that David did. Egg from Valley of the Succubus. This is also this looks also looks like it's a concept sketch from Valley of the Succubus. It's an old portrait I did of one of my friends from years ago. Random doodle page. random doodle. Some interesting dynamics in this though. I'm going to put it into my possible the portrait of a friend I did years ago. Concept thing from like years ago. There's just a lot of stuff that shouldn't be in this box. Leroy drawing from like a million years ago. That aside. Here's Potential nouveau esque thing. Yeah, this, uh, picture that failed to launch. I like the expression in it. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's, who it's supposed to be. Inside. Some stony, stony gorilla from Booty Time. That aside. Here we go. So there's a potential. Um, Art Nouveau, there's the whiplash that I was looking for, whiplash curve there in the hair. Okay, so that's definitely my Art Nouveau notes from a course from years ago. Photograph my first girlfriend from years ago. Song, that's in the wrong box. Here on the right side of the brain notes. All the stuff is all mixed up together. You can see why it's all just confusing. This is cool, it's a bit damaged, but this is cool. This was the first like dry dry print that I did. It's damaged though. You can see the corner's damaged, so I don't have the plate anymore, but it was cool. Okay, so it's a cool picture there. That could be a good I mean there's this example again of the whiplash curves, um, organic shapes, flow. Just it's just too small. It's too small to be a viable artwork. It's just A4. So I should take that aside. 
Oh look, there's another one. That's not real. <laughs> ah, this is cool. So this works with the Art Nouveau. Let me see, let me take those three. Those three. That's definitely Art Nouveau. It's dealing with Art Nouveau themes of birth, obviously, birth and death, nature. The Art Nouveau themes. And this example of kind of very stylized kind of look. There's two of them, so I grab those as well. This drawing pad. Okay. Give them my pile. Leroy from a million years ago. This is cool. I like this reclining figure. With lots of curves, you know, there's this sort of beginnings of the whiplash curves there, but very organic, natural shapes. Um, just a strange pose. But it's something, I'm gonna grab it and pull it aside. And the is to launch there. Alright, so this, this pad's damaged, but. Oh, old Leroy. Look at that, Leroy. That's cool. So I'll grab that. That's really old Leroy. He's got a peace sign. That's damaged, but there's the example more, you know, of that whiplash thing happening again. I've no idea what that was from. Dragon. Keep that aside. And there's some more example of these curves. Like I'm um, basically I have to redraw this drawing from scratch. It's weird bird. Pretty much everything from this drawing pad. I mean I'm just getting what I can from this drawing pad and I'm probably gonna throw the whole thing away. Because that's just a real mess. So what else we got? This drawing pad. It's uh, not right for this series. Because this is life drawing stuff. Oh, that is. That's from life drawing. So grab that put that aside. Uh, monster design, puppet design, puppet design for a music video. Some monsters, some costumes, and some puppets. This, oh, I went through a period where I was obsessed with making puppets, so I've just gone through it again. Oh, here, we, here this is good. This is very, sort of could be very art nouveau. Let's take that. It works. Another puppet that I designed, Golem puppet. more of the Gollum puppet, <laughs> which I've already made. That's it for that drawing pad. It's an alien. It's not right. It's a as well. Another alien. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to 
put all these alien ones into this little folder. Because after I finish this book I'm working on at the moment, I'm going to start another one called Aliens and Robots and use some of my alien and robot drawings. <laughs> Cubes and whip mesh cubes. Alien. Alien. Or guy in armor. Alien armor. Alien armor. Oh, alien. That's, that's cool. That could be reinterpreted into Art Nouveau. That was the Art Nouveau part. Put these into the alien folder. Design the Assassin's Creed glove for another client. Never ended up booking the job. More from that kind of Leroy themed party. I designed the flyer. So from Birdie Time, this is Slaughter Squirrel. There's some um, pile of nuts. Get another one of these folders. And I'm going to make this one the Leroy folder. Leroy! Leroy Superfly! folders. Subject. Booty time. And let's call this one. Subject. Aliens and robots. Cool. So this actually tattoo that's on my shoulder. So I should take that and see if I can incorporate it into my Art Nouveau because it's organic. More. Like that. That's cool. I think I did that from a photograph. This sort of stuff is all wear lion. Or wear lioness I suppose. And there's some um, human fly and stuff like that. So I'm going to call this, most of these drawings are like that. So I'm going to call these ones my monster drawings. Get another one of these little drawing folders. <laughs> Put it in there like that. Clients. Work. And I can put dummy stuff in there. Keep it separate from my work. So yeah, so that was some what's in the box for you. Just a little look into uh, what I'm trying to get organized at the moment. Um, I'll go into things a little bit more. Probably go into a few more of these boxes um, and get a few more of these things sort of organized into their own middle of folders and all that kind of stuff. So it's ready for me to start to explore it or I can just archive it, put it aside and move on from it. So there you have it, hope you enjoyed that, um, I'll talk to you soon, thanks for watching, and bye for now.